In this video, I'd like to talk about the math question of the day for Tuesday, August 29th, 2023. And with this problem, we are given a piecewise function and we need to determine what the value of g of seven is. And questions like these are sometimes introduced in algebra one, though you might see this in algebra two or most likely you might see this in a pre-calculus class. So at this point, go ahead and pause the video, see if you can work through this on your own. And when you're ready, unpause the video and we can go through this together. Now, assuming that you have attempted the problem, let's start working through it. And remember for piecewise functions that they take on different outputs depending on which values of x you are dealing with. And if you're familiar with interval notation, that's what we have here. This output deals with x values between negative infinity and negative seven, and the parentheses means that we're not including negative seven at that endpoint. Whereas when x is between negative seven and two, including those endpoints, then we use this linear function. And when x is between two and infinity, not including two at the endpoint, we have this factored quadratic here. But if interval notation is a little bit confusing, you can also write these as inequalities. We can say that x has to be bigger than negative infinity, but less than negative seven for this output, this quadratic function. And for this linear function, x has to be bigger than or equal to negative seven or less than or equal to two. And for this bottom one, we have x values that are bigger than two, but smaller than infinity. So when we look at our value of x that we're looking for, an x value of seven, we just need to determine which of these outputs would we actually use. And which of these intervals is an x value of seven actually between? So that would be this last interval here for x values between two and infinity. The way to use this interval notation is that the first number that's the lowest value in that interval and the second number that's the highest value in that interval. And that works the same for these as well. So seven is between two and infinity. The lowest value is two and seven is bigger than that, but the highest value is infinite and seven is of course smaller than that. So it's in this interval. And that just means we wanna use this output here. So we have G of seven. We will plug an X value of seven into our function here. And we're just using this factored quadratic here. We have seven plus one multiplied by seven minus five and seven plus one, that is eight. And we'll multiply by seven minus five, which is two, and eight times two is 16. So for this piecewise function, when we have an x value of seven, the output, the y value, would be 16. 